What are 15 common tourist mistakes that people make when visiting San Diego? Find out next on Jaycation. What's up, Jaycationers? Welcome back to another video here in the San Diego series. That's right, we're back in my hometown and I'm gonna give you 15 common tourist mistakes that people make when visiting San Diego. There are a ton of them, so stick till the end. The first common mistake that tourists make when visiting San Diego would be not leaving downtown San Diego. Now, if it's your first time here, chances are you're probably gonna be staying here in downtown, either at the Manchester Grand Hyatt, the Marriott Marquis over on the Marina or a hotel hotel around the Gaslamp Quarter. Now you're gonna be like during the weekdays, wow, this place is boring, kind of run down. There are a few homeless people around here and you're just not gonna like it as much. And if you don't leave downtown San Diego and experience La Jolla, go up to Carlsbad, check out Julian, go to the zoo, Balboa Park, you're gonna get bored here. Make sure you're leaving downtown San Diego and the hotel that you're staying at. You also wanna check out Coronado just across the bridge. The next common mistake, why don't we do this while we're going through is car wash right now, is not renting a car. If you're not already driving into San Diego, you're gonna to wanna to rent a car over at the Rent-A-Car Center that is right next to the airport. It's a huge parking garage with all the different rental companies. SD Cruise and Rentals, they're actually over in La Jolla. I prefer them because you can ride around San Diego in luxury. Life will be that much easier. I know you gotta pay for parking in downtown and all that stuff, but just to get around to like East County, North County, the beaches, you're gonna wanna drive. So a common tourist mistake is people thinking that public transportation will suffice when it doesn't, so rent a car. Also, if you think that you could get around with Uber and Lyft, those rides are anywhere from 10 to $30, depending on where you're going. And if you're here within like a five to seven day trip, that's gonna add up and that's gonna cost you way more than if you just rented a car. Right behind me is Petco Park, home of my San Diego Padres. And the next common mistake we're gonna talk about is tourists assuming that the beach is near downtown. Now, it is kinda, sorta, but not really. You're gonna get San Diego Bay views here in downtown, but you're not gonna get the beach. The closest beach you can get to from here, I believe, would be Coronado and then Ocean Beach. Those are both about 10, 15 minutes of a drive. If you wanna go to Coronado, you can take the ferry over. From the ferry, you still gotta go over to the Hotel Dell, which takes a little more time and it's almost like a little short Uber or bike ride over that way. If you're staying in downtown, make sure you plan accordingly if you wanna to get to the beach. You're gonna get a small beach over on the other side near Pioe's. They have like a little man-made beach off the bay, but that's not really, uh, it's not the true San Diego beaches. The next common mistake made here in San Diego are tourists wanting to go to the border, but not crossing the border. You get over to San Ysidro and you see the Los Americas outlets and it is a beautiful outlet center, but it's just like any other premium outlet center in America. You just see the wall across the parking lot. Now, if you're gonna go to Tijuana, you might as well just go to Tijuana. So bring your passport. Maybe if you know somebody that knows their way around TJ, they can show you around the Tacos El Gordo or the other taco spots there that are not as popular. I don't really know much because I haven't gone to Tijuana in years. You'll be slightly disappointed if you just go to the final US exit, cross the border, bring your passport, go there during the day, and enjoy a nice day over there and then come back across and enjoy the rest of your trip here in San Diego. If you guys are finding value in this video so far, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps distribute it throughout YouTube. If you're just discovering me, please consider subscribing. I have a ton of San Diego, Las Vegas, and world content. Now back to the video for common mistakes that tourists make in San Diego. Another common mistake that tourists make when they're visiting San Diego for the first time is not visiting the North County area of San Diego. You have Oceanside in the Northwest and you have Fallbrook, both really nice spots to check out. You can go to the Oceanside Pier and there's a lot of great eateries over there. And then over in Fallbrook, you get a nice older feel. From there, you hit Temecula, which is not San Diego County anymore, but that is considered SoCal's wine country. Definitely wanna check out North County. There are tons of places. You have Carlsbad, Encinitas. Safari Park is over in Escondido area. There's so many things to enjoy in North County and I have plenty of videos like my North County Hidden Gems video. I'll link it down below. Another common mistake would be coming here on a holiday weekend, whether it's Memorial Day, the 4th of July, or Comic Con weekend. That's when hotel rates are at its highest. 
plane fares over here are at its highest and there's just way too many people around town. You like having a crowd around you and just feeling the energy of people moving around San Diego, then come over here, especially Memorial weekend and Comic Con weekend. If you do plan on coming on these busy weekends, make sure you book your reservations a year or two in advance because hotel rates are astronomical. Don't come here on holiday weekends if you're looking for some rest and relaxation and maybe to save a little bit of money. That's pretty cool. Elton John's gonna have his farewell yellow brick road tour here in November. The next common mistake that tourists make is not headed east of San Diego. Over in the east side of San Diego, you got the mountains and you got Lake Cuyamaca. You got the Cleveland National Forest. You have Julian and Borrego Springs Desert and a bunch of beautiful nature-y scenic spots that you can enjoy that is outside of the city within San Diego County limits. Now I just drove east going to Arizona a couple of weeks ago and I'm telling you, that area is really nice. You wanna go check out Alcatillo Wells, that's where the casinos are, Viejas Casinos over there. Make your way east. That's why you gotta rent a car. Next on the list is simple, doing too much in just one day. A lot of people think that they could come to San Diego for one or two days and pack everything in, but that is definitely not the case. This is a relaxed beach town, very casual. We like to take things slow here. It's not the fast nine to five kind of life like we have up in LA. San Diego is a lot more relaxed. We wear flip-flops, shorts, Padre jerseys to the beach and just hang out and like to have happy hours and make a day of just doing nothing. If you're coming to San Diego, don't do too much in one day. Spend a week here and one of those days, just plan nothing. Just enjoy the perfect San Diego weather. You'll thank me. You pack too much into an itinerary, you're gonna be like, wow. I think I did too much, I didn't enjoy myself. Next on the common mistakes list would be not trying a local Mexican food taco shop. There are so many Mexican food taco shop locations all around San Diego and it can be highly debated. What's your best California burrito? What's your best taco? Now you have your Tacos El Gordo. Right down the street over here in Barrio Logan, you got Las Cuatro Milpas. You also have your Rigoberto's, Roberto's, Cotijan, Sayulitas. I'm telling you, I can go on for days and I have a whole series of videos that are devoted to Mexican food around San Diego. Check that out after this. You will be remiss if you came to San Diego and didn't try a California burrito or carne asada fries or anything else from these Mexican food spots. I'm telling you, it's as good as you'll get to Mexico because we're literally 30 minutes from the border right now. And believe me, you'll go to Tacos El Gordo, Las Cuatro Milpas, and you'll be a happy camper. So rumor has it in San Diego that it's sunny and 75 degrees all the time. So people just come here with shorts, flip-flops, and as you should. But in the morning, I always say that it's cold within the shadows. So in the mornings, it does get around anywhere from 40 to 60 degrees. And in the shadows, it's even cooler or when you're indoors. So I suggest bringing a nice little hoodie so you can stay warm and wear this until you go out into the sun. But when you do go out into the sun, you're gonna wanna protect your eyes from the UV rays of the sun. So bring some sunglasses, a hat, and if you know, you're sensitive to the sun even more, you're gonna to wanna to bring one of these hats as well, one of these sun hats, especially if you're at the beach. Protect your skin, use sunblock like I said in the beach tip as well. And then at night when it gets cooler, you're gonna to wanna to put a hoodie like this on. Believe me, it does get a little chilly once the sun sets. Can dip to between 50 and 60 degrees. Layer up when you're coming to San Diego because in the mornings and at night, it gets a little more chilly. Many tourists that visit town for the first time are really worried about buying tickets to the San Diego Zoo or buying tickets to SeaWorld or getting into the hottest club in the Gaslamp Quarter and you're paying nothing but dollars and cents just to get into these places. Now, the most common mistake that people tend not to do here is take advantage of all the free things to do in San Diego. Now, you can go to Balboa Park and not have to pay for any of the museums. You can just take a nice little stroll around, go to the Organ Pavilion, check out all the beautiful scenery around the museums. You don't have to go inside. You can just enjoy a nice sunny day and a nice walk around there. Here in the Embarcadero, I see people out here sunbathing and seeing people just walking around this beautiful stretch in the San Diego Bay. And you got Rady Shell over across the way. There's a park, you can play basketball and just 
have a nice picnic. A lot of free things to do here. Go on a hike, go to Potato Chip Rock, spend the day over there. The next common tourist mistakes that happen in San Diego is if you're spending a day at the beach, a lot of people coming from the Midwest aren't gonna bring their shorts or their flip flops or their sunblock and their sunglasses or an umbrella. I'm telling you, make sure you pick those up before you come here or look for a Walmart and grab all that gear. But don't go to the beach without your sunblock, you're gonna burn. Also, for those of y'all that like to have a few beers, a lot of the beaches here you can't drink. Now, if you're gonna day drink around Pacific Beach and have a few beers or cocktails around places like Lahaina's, PB, Turf Club, places like that, make sure you're drinking waters, Gatorades, and staying hydrated because I'm telling you, that day drunk feeling when you're out on the golf course and you're just chugging Coronas and not even drinking water and you're dehydrated, that sloppy drunkness, it's not a good look. And there are one too many people that come from other parts of the country that end up that way because they're not hydrating themselves. A lot of people coming to party here in San Diego will be surprised that we don't keep the normal party hours like they do in Las Vegas or in Miami. Here in San Diego, clubs close around two o'clock, last calls at 1.20, and over at the breweries, they close down even earlier, sometimes as early as 9, 10 o'clock. You're gonna come to San Diego Try coming out and partying earlier on in the evening. Don't go out at 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock at night and think you're gonna get a full night of raging and partying in because all these places start closing down around two o'clock, especially here in the gas lamp quarter. Next time you're in San Diego, go out around nine. That's nine, 10 o'clock is the perfect time to go out and party. And plus, San Diego is more like a party throughout the day type of town. You're gonna wanna go to the beach during the day, check out the malls, hop over to the breweries, hop over to the bars later on at night. One of the biggest common tourist mistakes is not knowing that San Diego is one of the most popular spots and destinations for happy hour. There are tons of happy hour spots here in San Diego, especially here in the Gaslamp District. And I've listed a few in my best happy hour food video, which I'll link down below as well. You can check that out after this. You got places like Puesto, La Puerta. They have really cheap happy hour deals, as well as breweries where they have, you know, a dollar or two off of pints. Margarita specials over at Puesto, over at headquarters. Now here's a little tip. If you wanna save some money, have an early dinner and make your dinner happy hour and you'll save yourself some cash. Go get the flour is over at Miguel's. Go get some of the drink specials at Taste and Thirst. It'll be a lot easier on your wallet. And San Diegans, us locals, we love the happy hour specials all around town. And there's a website that lists all the happy hours around San Diego. And I'll make sure I put that down in the description box below. The next common tourist mistakes is buying food over at the amusement parks like SeaWorld and San Diego Zoo, Safari Park, Legoland. There's so many great eateries here in San Diego, a lot of great breakfast spots like Breakfast Republic, you got the original Hash House of Go-Go here, and there's so many other places like Snooze Eatery. You're gonna wanna have a nice, healthy breakfast before you hit these parks. If anything, pack some snacks throughout the day, have a light lunch over at the parks, and then get a nice reservation over in Little Italy, or head over to North Park or South Park to Buona Forchetta, or one of the many restaurants that I've done in my San Diego series of videos. You don't wanna miss out on meals here in San Diego. And if you're going to the zoo and just having a hot dog or having a sandwich over at one of the normal concession stands, you're just gonna be wasting money and not enjoying the culinary scene here in San Diego. So that will do it here in San Diego for your common mistakes that tourists make when visiting America's finest city. Now, if I missed out on a few mistakes and didn't mention something that you may know of, please comment down below. It really helps out the community of San Diego lovers and tourists that are coming to town. If you guys like this video, I'd really appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up. It helps distribute it throughout YouTube. Consider subscribing as a ton more San Diego content and a whole library already on my YouTube channel. We're trying to get to 100,000 subscribers, guys. We're gonna get there. So tell your friends, family, dogs, and cats to subscribe to Jaycation. And if you wanna support me even more in 2022, I have a Patreon, PayPal, and a Teespring down below. If you wanna join my Facebook group called It's Always Sunny in San Diego, we have 6,000 plus members of San Diego lovers talking about the latest news, tips, and recommendations around town. All right, Jaycationers, if you have any ideas on future Jaycation videos, please comment down below, and we'll see you in the next video. And in the words of me, stay traveling, San Diego. Can't reach you,